what's going on everybody this is you see the creative mongo we're about to go do this swahili mcdonald challenge as per requested and right now i am just walking to the mcdonald's to get the swahili meal um i'm gonna give y'all all the tea and all that stuff about mcdonald's like literally i haven't been i don't eat fast food but uh, i'm like you know what i gotta jump up on this challenge real quick so the swahili meal from what i've seen it comes with the mac the big mac burger the um the nuggets the fries and it also comes with a sprite i think the sprite is mixed with a um i don't know what's in it i think it's sprite and like some mountain dew i don't know but i'll let you guys know and also a few other things um yeah so there's other stuff mixed in there so we're gonna walk into the mcdonald's right now and we're going to um we're gonna try i'm not a big fan of um fast food restaurants but i'm like freaky let me just do this for this one time um so yeah so we're gonna go in that mcdonald's we're gonna try the sohiti meal we're gonna order it and i'm gonna let you guys know about the sweetie meal we're walking we're gonna walk into the mcdonald's we're gonna get the sohiti meal we're gonna actually try it I'm going to be honest with the reviews. Remember, I'm not a McDonald's um, advocate. McDonald's does not pay me. So we're going to actually go in and we're going to see what this meal is about. We had to put our mask on because it is coronavirus. That's still going on right now. And we are actually walking in to the McDonald's right now. So stay tuned. Napkin. Oh, sorry, I need to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going meal you know it's still coronavirus so i'm going to use my wet wipes to wipe my hands because <laughs> your girl is not trying to get corona out here in these streets period so we're gonna use the wipes i just have to find them real quick Okay, so we use the wet wipes because, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this Big Mac here. Dang, they really only gave, um, they really only gave one sweet and sour, um, package it looks like
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. Oh yeah, I forgot about the drink too. So the drink is the drink is Sprite. But since it was like touch screen, I put a little fruit punch in there. I don't remember if I got that years ago. Remember? I haven't been to I haven't been inside McDonald's in a long time. So, yeah, we just had the, the Swahili meal and to me, honestly speaking like it's just basically selling the same product to the consumers consumer customers like it's not like is any ingredients is different her name is just on the product with mcdonald's to buy to have more customers come buy more mcdonald's stuff even though we know McDonald's are bad for, bad to eat, you know, we know this. I think <clears throat> I think it should have been like a something else added into the the bag. I feel like it's a cheap price, I think, cuz I seen online that it was for $13. I paid I'm going to tell you exactly how much I paid for this meal. It was ten sixty six. I paid ten dollars and sixty six cents for this meal, and it, it was supposed to come with two sweet and sour sauces. Like I know I'm not bugging. It says it right here. I'm gonna take a picture of this and show you guys. Like they only gave me one sauce. So, McDonald's out here being sneaky, as usual. So, let me just... Yeah, McDonald's out here being sneaky because it was supposed to be two sweet and sour sauces and it only came with one. So, McDonald's, why you got certain locations giving people one sweet and sour sauce? So why y'all being shady for? So, I paid for two and I only got one. <sighs> Anywho, where McDonald's is still doing the buy one, get one free quarter pounder with cheese or egg muffin, and they still have the website looks different www.mcdvoice.com within seven days. I remember it used to be different, but it says that, and then you have to put um, a validation code on there and expires within 30 days of receipt, and it has like a little um survey code at the bottom and stuff but i'm not gonna reveal the location i went to because i do have stalkers but uh, um <laughs> yeah so mcdonald's y'all out here using celebrities to get more people to y'all restaurant and y'all y'all wrong for that because y'all know y'all know <laughs> y'all know y'all know mcdonald's is bad you know, and y'all out here really using celebrities to bring more sales to y'all restaurants. Would I ever go back to this McDonald's or any McDonald's? Nope. Um, the quality of the food, I felt full, like, after a few bites. And then the taste just felt funny. Um, it just felt like it was like, I don't know, it just tasted weird. Um, I'm talking about the nuggets, though. Like, the nuggets tasted weird, but, um, 
like I said, I'm not going back to McDonald's. You know, Swahili, you got my little ten dollars, girl. Support. I don't even know if it's a black business because she didn't make McDonald's. But support um collaborations. <laughs> support collaborations. And um only thing I could think of is like okay, so I talked to you guys about how I remember back in the days when I was in like elementary school I was not going to McDonald's period okay high school I wasn't going to McDonald's period I see like I would see like other like boys and girls like have like their um they would have like their sandwiches they put their their fries and the in the the Big Mac and everything um I've never had a quarter pounder and then when I was able to afford McDonald's I would always get from the dollar menu and I remember getting like the Mc no 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 McChicken yeah I remember getting the McChicken the fries and the mozzarella sticks that's what I remember and the small fruit punch I remember getting that but as for like anything else like with McDonald's um I had never had that like the actual meal no I remember I used to work in McDonald's too I worked in the South Sea Street Port the South C Street Seaport, South C Street Seaport. I worked at that McDonald's in Manhattan. I worked there for literally a week, and I got fired from that job because the manager was saying that I put too much fries in the container, like mad technical way. Like I put like an extra ten fries per order. And if anybody ever been to Manhattan and they know how that location is, they know it gets busy because it's like the middle. It's not in the middle. It's like the end of Wall Street. It's like right there. So it's like it's constant traffic of people ordering, especially during lunchtime. So I remember that we had to punch in on the screen. We had to punch in like three, two or three numbers with the punch on the screen. And then at that time, like the, the cashiers would have to be like on the registers and you have to come in there to go punch in and then the shirt had to be ironed and everything had to be crisp and i'm like you know you asking a lot for for a teenager like i was not ironing my clothes <laughs> so yeah that's my little mcdonald's story for y'all and that manager probably still working there <laughs> probably still working there like literally so yeah like and also too like i remember like it was me and this other girl we went to school together and we walked past there and we and i don't know who said it first it was like oh um they're hiring so we both looked like oh they're hiring so we went in there literally we got hired the same day like that's how desperate they were for employees got hired the same day and then all that stuff happened but yeah uh i don't really advocate for mcdonald's this is not a paid sponsorship uh i don't recommend people to go to mcdonald's because you know they showed videos and i don't even know why i did it but okay so i'll tell you why i did it the only reason why i went into mcdonald's today to get the swahili meal is because it's it's just released and i was like you know what let me see if your color is pink and I'm like, oh, Swahili got a got a meal meal thing at McDonald's. Like, okay. And I also remember, like, back in the days, they would have like the um, the cartoons would do like features. So, but they haven't really did like a feature. I don't know. I'm not really a McDonald's like fan, but the last feature I remember, I can't even think of a, a feature I remember with them. Like, I know they used to do that a lot with like um, celebrities, like Coca Cola did that and pepsi did that so it's like it's the same kind of like marketing tool to bring more consumers and customers to your store so i'm thinking you know what it's a good business plan for the for, for um it's a good business plan for mcdonald's um would i ever go back to that mcdonald's or ever goes back to any mcdonald's would i ever goes back to any fast food restaurant no 